So here we have it. I have the new Beta 7. I also downloaded, they have some links to like the new Flappy game, the new Super Bat Puncture, Puncher demo, um, a couple other demos I downloaded. And so I checked those ones out. I just got the, the RAR 7 zipped it, extracted it. Here we go. And then we go ahead and load it. And depending on what kind of refresh rate monitor you have, you actually have some options here. It will actually boot in full screen mode. Usually if not, just hit Alt Enter. Uh, you can change your frame rate. It does it looks like that's 120. I had it at 120. I honestly don't see a big difference in the frame rate that you do manually, and I've also changed it on my monitor, but maybe you guys will have a different uh, experience. You can change the light. You can change the volume, background music on or off, a uh, bunch of other little uh, visual things. Um, and then controller, I just put, hooked up an Xbox 360 controller. It wasn't the best controller. I'll probably would rather do like an 8-bit dough controller or something like that, but... Just for simplicity reasons, I just threw that in there. And you can always rebind your keys really easily. You have load state and save state. And as you see, I have a super bat puncher game that I saved. Um, this was the settings I showed you already. And then the games, you have three pages of games. You do need the original ROMs as well. So you might have to go on like the Pirate Bay or wherever you like get your ROMs or if you have ROMs. So like Galaga, for example, go down G, Galaga. Double click it, Alt Enter, and now we're playing Galaga. And then you can use the analog sticks on your Xbox 360 controller to move this around. You can also use your mouse if you want. I think your scroll wheel zooms in and out, yeah. Or again, you can use the triggers on the back of your Xbox 360 controller to zoom in and out. And then you can use the analog sticks as well. Like, I can do it like this. And as you see, I mean, it's kind of a, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I, it's, it's kind of a, just a, like a, it's kind of like me to, it's like 3D glasses right now, right? It's like, you get these 3D glasses, you get a 3D TV. It was kind of cool for a little bit. And it does give a different experience from the original. And so for that, I really like it. The rest of the video, we're gonna go ahead and play some games. This is the Super Bat Puncher. It's a um, a homebrew game. And then uh, the rest of the games you'll recognize are all Nintendo games. I've played the two different types of Tetris. We'll play Zelda, we'll play Donkey Kong. And then there's another ported game, uh, Flappy Bird, that I get really frustrated with later in the game. In, in here but um back to what i was saying with the 3d glasses and stuff um it's still really novel and i think it's cool to like show people especially people who are really into nintendo like if you're a nintendo fanatic you just love the original nes i think this is going to be a fan favorite for them uh, and just to check it out like i said i feel like eventually it'll wear off it's like a lot of things it's like you'll play it for like a few hours or for a week or a month or something and eventually it might it might lose its kind of novelty or whatever but at the same time, like, I have to admit, I really enjoyed playing Zelda. Like, I honestly want to keep going. I know I died at the first castle, but, you know, I wanted to go and, it, and at least finish a few levels. Now, obviously, if I started grinding it, you know, after a while, it might start feeling a little, you know, like, you might get kind of used to it. Uh, but I have to say it's really interesting. The other thing that was kind of weird to me that I think you guys should all try is either watch this video or go ahead and download this and try it yourself. And, um then look at like your phone and my phone is like a really high resolution uh i have the samsung galaxy s9 and when i was texting somebody i was like wow this looks really good because when you go from like this this is these lower bits to something with a lot more it's very um apparent <laughs> to say the least but um i'm not knocking on nintendo i love nintendo i love zelda there's a lot of these games i grew up with that i love playing don't get me wrong i'm simply saying that you know you will see the differences as you um you know you get through this so um i do want to say thank you to the you know the people that program this and are in charge of this project it's cool don't get me wrong it has a lot of potential i'm really excited at what it can do um the, all the games i played were okay i did watch some other videos where people were like you know a lot of people were, from my opinion, either loved it or you hated it. People were like, oh, no, that's ugly. Ooh, yeah, no, that's even worse. And then some people saying, oh, that, that's so cool. Um, and I'm somewhere in between. Like, like I said, I like it from the standpoint that 
I can now play these same games I've, I've beat way before, and I feel like I can play them again. And once you have the controller in your hand and you're playing these games, it's like second nature and you really get into it. So it gives you another reason to rediscover these great games. And so for that reason, it's really cool. And then the reason I keep saying that I hope, you know, I haven't said too much about it is it is kind of just a novel thing. It's not a huge, huge deal, but um, nevertheless, no better reason to you know pick up a controller when quarantine right now and check this out because it will reignite all that nostalgia so that's what i think let me know what you all think the rest of the video is just gonna be gameplay if you want to see the rest of those games I felt like that was more technical. Mm. Two steps back, one step forward. <laughs> Don't play this game when you drink a lot of coffee. What? now. <laughs> Bro, stop being so flappy. <laughs> I think there's, I, I think I need to worry about the timing a little more. Um, Zelda, everyone's gonna wanna see that. Is it under L for Legend of Zelda? This is cool. Just stabbed him, bro. I don't have the shield yet, huh? Ooh. 
Boom, back to full health. Wow, I thought I was totally dead there. I kill all of them and I don't get a single thing. Oh, that's helpful. Thank you. After I kill them all. I think if I want the map though, I go right, and then if I want the boss, I go left, right? Yeah. Man, can somebody please just give me some sort of heal? Oh, geez. I would point out, like, right here, look, you can't see the doors going south. Like, they're just oh, totally messed up. Here, so right there are some glitches for there. sure. I gotta fight those guys. I get the bow and arrow when I kill the um, those guys, huh? I'm dead here, though. Told you. 